Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a true first person, a true first person character using the game animation sample provided by Epic Games. So you'll go ahead and create a project and launch that up. And once you're in your project, we are going to go over to the blueprints folder, CVP sandbox character, and open up this blueprint editor. And there are quite a few things that we want to do in order to set up a true first person character. So first I'll go to the viewport and I'm going to attach the spring arm over to my mesh and I'm just going to parent the socket to the head. And now I just want to zero out my location and rotation and set the target arm length to zero. And now I want to make sure that it's not going directly into my head. You can have a personal preference. You can really set this to however you'd like, but personally, I am just going to set the location to 10 for the X10 and Y5 and I'll leave it just like that. And now what I also want to do is go over to my event graph and for these update camera nodes that you see under event possessed and event tick, I'm just going to uncheck these execution pins. And now I'm going to go to the bottom of this row and I'm going to make sure that the IA, the input action aim is just always set to true. So I'm just going to connect it to here and just like that. So once to strafe will always be true. You can also go to your CVP sandbox input and just make sure that once to strafe is checked and once the aim is checked so that our character will always be facing forward depending on where we're looking. And now under my functions, under update rotation, I'm just gonna go over here and set this top one that says 200 to negative one. And the last thing I wanna do is so that we don't clip through walls is go back to the viewport and I'm just gonna increase my capsule collision a little bit. So I'll increase the radius to something like 50 and I'm gonna move my character back. And I'll just shift my character a little back here and also in my CV sandbox character, when I click spring arm, I wanna make sure that enable camera lag is set to off or else we'll see the back of our heads. And now when I go to the default level and click play and run around, you'll see that my character is running in true first person. And even if I try to jump and turn around, I'll always be facing forward so I can't see the back of my body. And when I do traversals, I'll never be, I won't have any clipping issues, just like here. So I won't be able to clip through the wall, even though I increased my capsule collision. If you are clipping a tiny bit, then make sure that you just increase it a little bit or push your character back. And that's an easy way to set up your true first person character using the game animation sample. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. And another bonus tip is that when you jump and do traversals, you can turn around and see your character. In order to stop that, you're just going to go back to your CVP sandbox character, go to the event graph, go to where it says camera, camera input, and we're just going to make some more room. And now there's already a traversal variable set up called doing traversal action. And we're going to get it, and we're going to just connect this to a branch node. And now if this is false, then we'll connect these execution pins. And now we won't be able to turn at all. But if you did want to add some turn and not a full 180, then all we need to do, then all we need to do is just multiply this action value X and Y by however much you want to be able to turn. So I'll do something like 0.5 here and 0.5 here. And then we're just going to copy these two controller yaw inputs and controller pitch and just connect the true node of this branch up here. And make sure you connect the values of this 0.5 here and here for the X and Y and hit compile and save. And maybe 0.5 was a bit too much, so I put it down to 0.1 and I can turn it a tiny bit. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.